Disabled bride reveals her secret at her wedding. The groom can't hold back his tears. There are certain moments in life that you'll never forget. One of these moments for many people is the day they get married. If you have ever been to a wedding, you know that there is always a unique atmosphere of hope and love in the air. But what if the couple experienced lots of setbacks in their lives and they never thought they would see each other standing at the altar? Today, I have the heartbreaking stories of Kim and Kevin and Jackie and Andy for you. Get some tissues because I don't think you can hold back the tears today. Kim and Kevin Before we look at the disabled bride, I have Kevin's story for you, who lost his leg. When he was younger, he had fractured his right leg. Usually this isn't that bad, some plaster and a lot of patients will fix it. But with Kevin, disaster struck when the doctors tried to put his leg back in place. During the procedure, he developed something called post-traumatic dystrophy in his leg. This caused unbearable pain and seriously affected the muscles in his leg. So severe that the doctors were forced to remove the lower leg. It was a terrible shock for Kevin, as you can imagine. Everyone around him felt very sorry for him. They only knew him as the optimistic boy who always tried to make the most out of everything. But this setback was very harsh and Kevin had a difficult time coping with it. He was now in a wheelchair and very dependent on other people. But he didn't allow it to influence things and he never complained about his situation. In October 2012, things started to look a lot brighter for Kevin. He was lonely and didn't think he would ever meet someone. But then, one day he saw Kim. And Kim saw him and had a big smile on her face and the two immediately fell hopelessly in love. It completely changed their lives. As Kevin and Kim got acquainted, they soon realized that they would never want to live without each other anymore. At first, Kevin felt insecure about his amputation. But Kim soon showed that she didn't care about the wheelchair. With or without a leg, she was in love with Kevin's heart and with his personality. She thought he was the most beautiful person she had ever met, and she told him that loud and clear. It didn't take long for Kevin to find the courage to ask Kim to marry him. Kim was delighted with the proposal and said yes from the bottom of her heart. She wanted to marry this beautiful man. Immediately and without Kim knowing it, Kevin started training intensively. He had a plan for the wedding, and he had to work very hard to make it happen. He secretly trained with his prosthetic leg every day so he could walk on it. He wanted to be able to stand next to Kim at the altar and was determined to make it the best day of her life. On the wedding day, Kim was nervous like every bride. But her nerves disappeared instantly when she walked down the aisle with her father towards Kevin, who was waiting in his wheelchair. And then, all of a sudden, Kevin got up and walked the last few meters towards her. What a surprise! It was a beautiful moment and Kim broke into tears, as did many others who were present. Besides eternal fidelity, Kevin promised her and himself that he would keep training and that one day he wouldn't need the wheelchair anymore. I hope they will live happily ever after. Jackie and Andy Jackie also amazed everyone at her wedding. Her future husband couldn't hold back his tears when he saw Jackie on that special day of theirs. What Jackie did won't leave you unaffected either. Watch this video until the end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't a member yet. We would love to see you again so that we can tell you another remarkable story. Press that button and turn on the notification bell. Jackie Gonker experienced one of the worst things possible. When she was 17 years old, she had an accident in a swimming pool. She dived into the water thinking it was deep enough, but it wasn't. So she hit the bottom of the pool hard with her head, and when she came back up, she couldn't feel her legs. The emergency services were called in immediately, and Jackie was rushed to the hospital. At an early stage, the doctors told her that the chances of her ever walking again were virtually non-existent. It was a massive blow to Jackie, both physically and mentally. How would you react if you were given this news? The young Jackie, who had her whole life ahead of her, was now using a wheelchair without any feeling in her lower body. But she didn't accept it and immediately started intensive therapy. Jackie had always been very active. 
She has an athletic background and played a lot of softball. She knew she could count on her body and she knew it wouldn't let her down. And surely after a month, she already started to feel something in her legs. She could move them back and forth very gently. It was only minor, but for Jackie, it was an enormous victory which gave her hope. The accident hadn't destroyed all the nerves running from her brain to her lower body and there was still a connection and she would do anything to make that connection stronger. After six months of physiotherapy and special training, Jackie managed to stand on her own two legs. This also amazed the doctors. Nobody thought that this would be possible again for Jackie. But then the progress stopped and although Jackie would continue her training for the next eight years, not much changed in her physical condition. To move around, she still had to rely on the wheelchair. But things changed again when she got to know Andy. Andy didn't notice the wheelchair, but only the strong and beautiful woman sitting in it with her big smile and boldly colored hair. He immediately fell madly in love with Jackie and in August 2015, he asked her to marry him and Jackie said yes. They arranged for the wedding to take place nine months later and this was the boost Jackie needed. Now she had a date and a goal to focus on. She would try to walk to the altar by herself. By now she could walk around her home along the walls and had a lot more feeling in her legs. However, what was still a problem was that her blood pressure was far too low for her to remain standing for a long time. After standing for a while, she started to get dizzy and had to sit down. How could she practice walking if she couldn't even stand? She would go to the gym to train but had to give up soon, which frustrated her. She then didn't feel like going to the gym again. She didn't see any progress anyways. But she didn't give up and told herself, you have to do this, you won't just magically get better. And with her wedding in mind, she kept training hard and her perseverance inspired others as well. They came to her at the gym and told her that they sometimes also wanted to give up, but when they see Jackie, they know they couldn't just quit. Jackie could barely move her legs and she didn't give up either. Her hero in the whole story was also her future husband, Andy. Andy never gave up and Jackie could always count on him. He would marry her anyway, whether she could walk or not. And then came the wedding day. Jackie and Andy had arranged everything, the location, the decorations, a great photographer and of course the dress. Jackie had dyed her hair mermaid green for the occasion which went beautifully with her pink wedding dress. She looked as if she had come right out of a fairy tale. In her wheelchair, she rolled to the beginning of the aisle where her mother and grandfather were waiting. The room was full of guests and all eyes were on Jackie when the music started. At the end of the aisle, at the altar, her fiancé Andy was waiting for her. This was the moment. Jackie took a deep breath and then held on to her mother and grandmother's arms. Together with them, she pulled herself up and stood on her legs. Still a bit shaky, but then she walked to the altar by herself. She looked down the whole time so that she could see where she was putting her feet. She had to concentrate enormously and it was challenging but she succeeded. Jackie didn't notice that meanwhile, everyone present had started crying. Most attendees didn't know that Jackie had come this far with the recovery and had expected nothing more than that Jackie would move around in her wheelchair. When Jackie arrived at the front and looked up into her future husband Andy's loving eyes, she saw that he also had tears in his eyes. He couldn't control his emotions. He never thought he would see Jackie walking towards him and she also looked so beautiful at this super special moment for both of them. It was emotional for everyone and nobody kept it dry that day. Did you also cry for a moment? I sure did. Jackie had fulfilled her dream by never giving up and working hard. She even managed to perform the first dance with her husband on the dance floor. She leaned firmly on Andy her tower of strength who would never let her down. A painter captured the moment and created Andy and Jackie in each other's arms with beautiful watercolors. The tension and intensity of the event are visible in the painting but also the happiness of Jackie who once thought that she would never dance again. Now their lives together could start. 
In the meantime, we also know that Jackie is pregnant, another milestone she has reached, and I wish Jackie and Andy all the best. You too? Then give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what you have accomplished by never giving up.